To locate and share the access code for a lesson, you would first need to find the lesson that you would like to share with your students, hover over it, and then click on the word teach. This will give you two teaching options, live participation and student pace. Live participation will allow you to control the pace of the lesson on your device, and it also will allow students to respond to the questions on their device. Student pace allows students to complete the assignments on their own. For this example, I'm just going to use live participation. Once you click on live participation, it will allow you to create a code. If you notice here, I've already have two lessons that have been started and each one has two different codes. This is again helpful for if you have multiple sections of students who are doing the same assignments, but on different days. Additionally, you can use this in the same class to tailor the lessons to meet the specific needs for particular students. For example, if you wanted to accommodate students with um, the same work, but at a lesser intensity, then you could give them a different code. If you wanted to enrich the work and make it a little bit harder, they can get a separate code as well. Those students can be divided into groups and use two different codes. If we wanted to launch a new one to get the code, we'll click on launch a new live participation session. This will generate a new code for you, and that code will be located here. This code can be copied and pasted into a uh, chat or into an assignment or maybe something like the Google Classroom or Remind. You can also copy the link to be emailed. You can send the email link or you can place it within the Google Classroom for students to have access to the assignment. Additionally, you have options at the bottom for a hand raising feature, student reactions, a co-teacher link, and to launch a Zoom meeting if needed. The hand raising and student reactions allow students to interact with the lesson if they have a question or they wish to engage, and students reactions allow them to react to their peers' comments or their participation within the classroom. The co-teacher link works well. Um, if you turn on the co-teacher link and you copy this link, it will send off to another teacher that would also have access and control to the lesson. Once the students get this code, they will place it into their Nearpod, which can be accessed at join.nearpod.com, or they can access it through Clever. They place the code in and it will generate a lesson for them with their name. If a student enters the classroom late, once you've closed out that screen, the code is always going to be available at the top of the screen in the um, menu tab. Even if you change the screen, the code is still present. If you want to enlarge that code for students to see, you can click on this little swing out and it will again display the code for the students to see.